No, we cannot clone Homo Ethereum back from extinction, even with the newly discovered mummy. Here's why. First off, even though the mummy appears well preserved, the actual DNA itself degrades over thousands of years. This mummy is well over 30,000 years old, and by now, whatever DNA is present in the mummy would be mostly fragmented, giving us incomplete genetic material. Even if we did recover DNA fragments from this mummy, reconstructing a full genome is nearly impossible. Woolly mammoths are an exception to the rule, and it's practically a miracle we even mapped their full genome at all. A big reason we were able to do so was because of the abundance of woolly mammoth mummies, and other remains that contain DNA fragments. The same can't be said about Homotherium, where only one mummy of the species has been found so far. But let's say that by some miracle, we had enough DNA, and we mapped the full genome. Even then, cloning requires a closely related species for gestation. In the case of the woolly mammoth, they do have a living relative, the Asian elephant. The woolly mammoth and Asian elephant lineages diverged roughly 5.8 to 7.8 million years ago, and they share roughly around 95 to 96% of the same DNA. Modern day cats and saber-toothed cats, on the other hand, diverged over 15 to 20 million years ago. This means that there is no modern day animal closely related enough to Homotherium to serve as a surrogate. Now, I'm not trying to say all of this to be a Debbie Downer. That's what my Jurassic World comparison videos are for. But jokes aside, mummies like this are still important and they do give us a glimpse at what these animals would have looked like in the flesh. And who knows, maybe one day technology will advance to the point where we could bring this extinct species back, or at least engineer into existence something that looks like a homotherium. But for now, at least, the answer is 